I was just finalizing a mix uh, of a song and uh, I thought I talk about this tip that I normally use with my songs if the song is a fade out. Now, you, this is not something new. If you already know about this tip, then it could be a refresher for you. If you didn't know, well, you can have this information under your belt as well and you can apply this to your songs that have a fade out. Now, a lot of songs have a fade out and I think, in my opinion, a fade out, it allows the listener to continue singing the song because a lot of the time, as the song is fading out, usually it's the chorus repeating over and over again as it fades out. So it allows the listener to sing along with it and continue singing because as far as the momentum is concerned, the song hasn't really finished. It just faded out. It just moved back to the, of the line and another song will play later on uh, or the same song over and again. So that is my opinion anyway. And what I try to use this fade out effect is that it imitates the band, the music fading away, far away. Rather than volume dropping, it will give the effect of fade out and the band moving away or the listener moving away from the band playing the music. Here's my song and have a listen to it. It will fade out from bar 5 to bar 9 and see if you can actually notice something with the fade out. Roses are red, skies truly blue I will always stand by you Part of my life, deep in my soul Cherish this love only for you Okay, I hope you notice the difference. I mean, apart from the volume dropping, you might notice that the low-end spectrum is also fading out. Because think about it, if you are close to a sound source, a music, and you move away from it, as you move away, the lower frequency, the bass frequencies also drop. And you start hearing more and more of the mid and the highs. And that's what it's happening here as well. Have another listen. I'm just going to play that part. Part of my life, deep in my soul, I hope you heard that. So let me show you how I've done it. And it works in the main output, the master output. Here's my output track, the mixer as well. Here on master output, I have my max and then I have my analyzer and a, a band pass from uh, Melda Production. But you can actually put any high pass filter. Here we go. So it starts at 20 hertz frequency of high pass filter. It's pretty much not filtering anything. And by default, I highly advise you actually use a high pass filter because there's nothing below 20 hertz that any speaker will produce. If we have a listen to it. Part of my life, deep in my soul, cherish this Can you see how the frequency of the filter going up and up and up and ends at 200? So this way, you are also slowly cutting out the low frequency as it's fading out. And let me get the um, automation for it. As you can see here, that's my automation. So here's my uh, volume automation. There we go. So it's fading out from bar 5 to 9, just a straight linear fade out. And you can also see my band pass high frequency starting from 20 hertz and goes up to 200 hertz and you get this effect Part of my life, deep in my soul, cherish this love only for you. just as a thing let me turn the automation off Part of my You can still hear the bass playing as it's fading out. And when you enable the automation, Part of my life, deep in my soul, cherish this love only for you. 
right at the end, you don't hear the bass. Well, that's how you do it. Give it a try. Next time you're mixing, mixing a song and it's a fade out, and see if different effect you're going to get. And I hope this tip helps you out. If it did, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one.